Yeah, so what's good, y'all? This is your boy Rob Got It, man. So, we up here at the auction, ready to grab two of my cars that I purchased. One for a customer, and one for my personal. That's pretty much already sold. So, you know, I know I like messing with the Hondas. It's, a, it's another Honda day, but I can what can I say? They sell good, <laughs> so I keep messing with them, man. But we walking up here, about to get up in this joint. I'm gonna get back with y'all in a minute. All right. So look, we up in here, got my paperwork, got my gate passes and stuff. So now we on a hunt for the cars. Um, one of my cars is in the earlier lots, so should be able to find that pretty easy. Um, it's lot one, so that's it. Yeah. So I'm looking for lot number two. It might have been that joint right there. This is, I don't know. Might have found it already. They'll say that's lot number two, but this might be a part of it too. And there's a gray one right here. Just gotta check the vent. This might be it. All right, yep. Got this, so found the first car. As y'all already know it, Honda Accord, best sellers, <laughs> easy money. Let's see how she runs. Where? Uh, is the key inside of this thing? Should have brought my jump box. <laughs> but it's cool. We can walk right back out of this little joint right there by the truck. There's a little gate right there. So. <laughs> Damn, look at the old fence. That joint look clean. Yeah, so we got to run back to the truck and get my jump box. Then we back at it. <laughs> I'll holler at y'all in a minute. So, had a guy come help us out and jump my car for me. So, we're good. We're started. We got action. Only light on the dash is the ABS light. So, they're going to have to figure that out on their own. But, we good. <laughs> so. Uh, row 17. Appreciate it. Yeah, back down that side. So yeah, we about to go hop.
<laughs> jumped. That yep, that's her. Yeah, I'm I'ma take that hood being open already. That is probably need to get jumped. Not, not 50 50 shot. Not necessarily. We're like 50 50 on that. Yeah. Fuck out. Yep. Oh for real? Oh no, this one got juice. <laughs> She good. She just needs some gas. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hopefully we can make it. Dummy hood latch on this joint. through one of the cars needed a jump so this is the car I actually got for my cut one of my customers um, so huh huh oh the jump box dang that joint went up there the whole time <laughs> damn forgot that joint dang so I forgot my jump box Back of the bed of the truck while we drove all the way up this road. Happy enough, I did not lose it. That's amazing. That ain't never gone. Oh, yeah, so. About to pull these truck cars up on the trailer. Get these giants home. Got an 01 Civic. And an 03 Accord. What y'all think we going, you know? What y'all think I made off this one? What it usually go for, man? Because you already know. Hondas, baby. They sell good. They drive good, ride forever. This Civic needs work. <laughs> but I'm going to handle that. I ain't even worried about that. This Accord is pretty straight. Probably need an oil change and, you know... Probably just need to get a little checkup before it go, but uh, this joint pretty good to go, quite honestly. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna tell a lady she might want to put a new battery or something in this joint. Uh, cause we definitely had to start it, so, you know, make sure our a AC work. I need some antifreeze or something. Oh, my man ready. Ugh, this is a pretty good Honda Accord. They always good. I'ma just, I'ma stick to buying Honda Accords, man. Yeah, I'm gonna just, want me to just drive it straight up? I was gonna say, I'm gonna drive this straight up. we transporting these cars i got one i got the civic on the back on the back of the flatbed and i got the cord is going to be getting pulled like it was a like like it's a uh, 
like kind of like a toe dolly situation um just to get both of these down the road but hey man like i said we we came out the house with this pretty late and it ain't even all the way dark yet and we pretty much done so we good hey you think i should pull this up some more oh, I gotta okay in ignition but whatever the door opens this giant ring like what the heck and I just thought about it I just bought this other car today and I could have checked it out while I was up here but it was too we too late too money so I could have had them tell me where that one is too um but it is what it is I'm not sure. yeah Huh? You can get to put in park quick. Yeah, I got it in parking. Break up. Yeah, what you trying to grab? Huh? Yeah, what you trying to grab? going on y'all it's your boy rob got it so finally able to see these cars in the light and oh we got some work cut out so like i said the honda accord that i bought for the lady this is pretty much straightforward it's solid uh i mean it ain't the you know it ain't the best best looking car but it'll get the job done you know it got a couple of dings nicks and scratches and all that uh but for the most part it's a solid car it's a honda accord like it's going it's going to drive it's going to ride it's going to get you where you need to go but the civic on the other hand this thing gonna need some work man did not think this thing needed as much stuff that this thing is probably gonna need i'm just finding out this morning that it has a block holding up the window uh in the rear um but it's a worth it's worth putting the money in the car it only has 140 thousand miles it can actually sell for some pretty good money um some years ago i sold one of these things for like four grand so i know for sure this one you know put a couple of hundred dollars into it and you know it'd be worth the money uh so Tell my man he can come pick it up and he can get to flipping. I mean, hey, this is a part of the game, buying cars, you know. Some cars is 100% good. Some cars, you know, you got to put money into. So, and this is just a car that you got to put money into. She ain't got to put money into it if she don't want to. This is her personal car. So, the motor and trans is good in it. You know, it just need to be washed up real good. Clear the condensation off the headlights. Uh, you know, it just got a, you know, got some little dings and dents and stuff. But she can get this joint looking perfect as she wanted to. But uh, I'm going to let y'all go ahead and see the cars and let me stop talking.
couple of hundred dollars. And these joints is good. An eBay special. You can go on eBay. Go on eBay and get all this stuff. You can go on eBay and get all this stuff for these Hondas. You can go on eBay and get this stuff for all these Hondas. And it'd be good, right good. Oh, see? And I thought something was wrong with the trunk. I mean the hood, no. It's the latch on the inside. So when you pull it on the inside, you gotta push it back in for the lock. So that's something else they don't have to get. See? It's just taking the time to check it out. Now, look at the motor all this it's not the best but it's a 2001 civic what do you expect i come i can come change these dang on spark plugs and wires myself and get this joint back all the way right like if i was keeping this car for one of my customers man i put 500 dollars in this thing like ooh. but yeah man like i said i think this i think this car needs a control arm or something I'm not sure but uh because it's definitely a little clunky when I uh when I move it but like I said for the most part this Civic is solid like a couple of hundred dollars into this car and it will sell for a premium. It's a Civic. It's a, it, yeah. Like that tire back there needs some air. Put some air in that tire. Get it plugged. Whichever one. Like, be good to go. Just a, but windshield wiper line thing needs to be put back on. Yeah. Some cars is just fixer upper cars, but it's worth it at the end of the day. This car definitely needs, just needs a little tune-up, man. If I was gonna keep it, I would. If I was gonna keep this car, I'd have this thing looking right in no time. Seeing you gotta push this in. I didn't check and see if the sunroof worked. But, ooh, just push this in to lock the hood. Good to go. So, no hood, no hood stuff needed. Back them out the inside of this car. And it'll be good to go. I'm hoping it starts. All right, look at that. And this battery was dead when I went to go check it out yesterday. And now it's starting, it's, it's good. After it got charged, the alternator done charged the battery. And now the car is good. I mean, now the battery is good. And this is a 03 Honda Accord. And everybody knows Hondas, they good. I done had several of these cars, quite honestly. I do I like dealing with these because they're good. Look at this. Perfect. It's nothing. Alright. This car will be on its way to North Carolina very, very soon. I would say get some brakes put in. Tell the lady get her some new brakes and rotors all the way around. eBay special. You feel me? She'd be good to go. Like I said, both of these cars is already gone. Both of these, both of these is already gone. All right. But this is the name of the game when it comes to flipping cars. For my man that I'm getting into the car selling, know that you got a good solid car that just needs a little bit of work and it will be able to make you at least as long as you're making a profit you're good you sometimes you got to put money in the cars and he'll be good so, now this <laughs> this project that i decided to indulge on is a 2006 ford 500 good lord good lord so this thing definitely
Definitely going to need a front bumper. Definitely going to need a side panel. Definitely going to need a hood. I might not need a hood. The, the hood locks down. Clearly it's not. Yes, clearly the hood isn't isn't locking down on this, but this car looks horrible on the inside. But yeah, this car looks tremendous on the inside of it oh my lord this is the hood latch yeah this joint huh maybe uh, maybe i should not have bought this project but you know what it is gonna be content so i'm not gonna trip it is worth putting the time effort in it it's a couple of hundred dollars the junkyards the junkyard that I'll be going to, I already priced all the parts. Not gonna cost me that much, so. New tail light. I'm not, I'm probably not gonna do the put a new bumper on this one. Now, here is the big thing. This is what's gonna make or break me with this car. Is the doors locked? No, the doors is locked. Um yeah this is what's gonna make or break me with this car is this right here figuring out if this is gonna be something that i repair or something that i just let live in this little situation because if i repair it myself i feel like i can if i take off if i take off if i take out that panel if I take off that back door panel and get straight to the frame of the car and I can push that out, I could probably do that. Put some, put some heat to it and push that out. I mean, I do work on cars myself too. I just don't be in the mood to do it, but it saves you a lot of money. Oh, it's the works getting this daggone thing and I ain't got nothing it ain't got nothing to hold it up. Okay. So, oh, nope, it's right here. Yeah. So, this Ford 500 under the motor don't look too bad, but I definitely know it needs some work cuz when I when I drove it last night, definitely gave me I need work vibes. <laughs> got a whole trunk button. Might take these wheels off. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Don't know. Spare back here. Okay. Yeah, this trunk is. <laughs> like I said, man, some of these cars is a piece of work, but. But my biggest thing is this guy right here. Figuring out if I can get that fixed. Cause that's my project, that's my profit margin. But the most money I'm gonna put into this car is about $500. I don't plan on putting a lot of money into this car. If I put 500 into it, So, the driver's side. Okay, so, 
Uh, this button doesn't work on this side. Not tripping about that. See, this door opens fine. That's it, the back isn't, it's not that bad, it's just the front. Like, I will have this thing looking like a beast after I clean her up. Now, can we open this? Oh, the back door opens. It opens, I'm not tripping. I might take this panel off. If I can get this, I know I can get it off. I'm not tripping about that. Cause I've done work on my BMWs and on my BMWs, I've had to change window motors. I've had to change, I had a parts BMW that I had a parts five series BMW that I was just taking the parts off of one and putting it on the other. So I know how to, I had to do that with this, with the, uh, with the window. 